is Tony Poulos at Management World Americas in Orlando. I have with me today Drew Rockwell, who is the CEO of MDS Lava Storm Analytics. Drew, welcome. I have a couple of questions for you. One is there's been quite a few changes in your company of late. Give me a rundown on that, and then I want to ask you some questions about the market in general. So in the company, I think the big change is what we've decided to do is put our considerable analytic assets together in one division. So we've taken the operational analytic capabilities that we've had for a number of years in the old lava storm and added some of the customer analytic and bill analytic capabilities that we built in our sister company, which is really now MDS CEM. So we, we basically have two companies, one that's totally focused on building analytic platforms for helping customers understand what's happening inside their uh, company and extending that capability to their end customers. And then we have a really powerful billing and CRM platform that's focused on the B2B segment and the emerging V&O segment, you know, round two, where we think that kind of complexity is going to grow and grow. Analytics is very much the, uh, the hot topic this year. Why is that and, and, and why has it taken so long for companies to realize the value of their data? Yeah, that's a great question. I think, I mean, I think it's hot because, you know, as people talk about big data and the, the volumes of data, I mean, the communications industry has seen that for the last 20 years or so. I think, the, um, I think what's making it hot is not only the data volume, but also people are starting to see the value of the complexity of the logic and how to understand what's really happening inside of the data. So it's one thing to be able to process billions and billions of records. It's another thing to be able to, to manage the complexity of really what's happening inside those um, records and understand you know, what's wrong and what's right. And uh, so I, I think that's what's making it hot. Um, your second question, I forgot, I'm sorry. Well, the other thing is, it's the speed at which they want that information presented to them now, right. and the format of the presentation. Are you finding that a big driver? Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, maybe three to four years ago, it was about dashboards and KPIs and, and trying to sort of visualize and see, what, see what's happening inside the organization. We see more and more, it's also about, the dashboard is the beginning of the journey, not the end of the journey. And what they really want to get to is the root cause of, of what's happening. Why, you know, why is order completion 97%? Let's, let's focus on the 3% that aren't completing and what's the root cause of that. So there's a lot more maturity uh, in what people are looking for. You know, three years ago they were looking for metrics and trends and making sure the business was sort of headed in the right direction. Now they're looking for continuous improvement and how do I, how do I get more out of my assets that I have in the ground. And who's driving that? Who's asking for that information now? Are the C-levels understanding the importance of it? Yeah, I mean, to, to, to us and our business, the CFO is a key, key stakeholder because he's really, he or she is really about accuracy. They're, 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 they, what they're really in the financial reporting and as they run their business, they're trying to, to make sure that what they're reporting is accurate. And so they're very, very interested in transparency and understanding what's happening in the, in the bowels of the business. And they push beyond just the high level report, uh, the trend data and stuff like that. So we see the CFO as a key stakeholder. We see uh, customer experience as also a key stakeholder. That as businesses are sort of really looking at um, optimizing the customer experience experience, they're, they're going down many more levels than they were before. Um, and before it was just sort of satisfaction. And experience is an entirely different um, way of thinking about the world. So I think it's coming from those two sides. And then, you know, the third side is the operations guys are starting to, you know, when they're looking at, um, it's, it's a part of customer experience, but when they're looking at things like installing a service or maintaining a service and it not working or getting a complaint after the first installation, they're really trying to understand what's the the root cause of that. Drew, it's been great talking to you again. Thanks for spending time with me today. It's great being with you, Tony.